Hey there! In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add manual payment method on your Shopify store. If this has been quite a problem for your shop, for example, you have tried adding a payment method with a third parties, but you kept on maybe getting rejected or you kept on having issues, maybe the manual payment method might be one of the solutions for you. Let's get started. If you go to the setting sections, you will find and options or you'll find a section for the payment as well as the checkout. So I currently have activated my PayPal payment and you can always add more payment method by clicking add payment method and you can search the name of the payment method maybe by a provider or you can also search by payment method. For example, if you want to search for maybe American express or maybe you want to add visa or any other payment method that you know you can just type it in and integrate it to your shopify store but again sometimes it has problems to it so you might want to add the manual payment method instead here before we go to the manual payment method settings i want to show you this payment capture method so basically after each transaction Shopify has the ability to capture the transaction for your own good. So let's say you need the proof for that transaction. You will get it because Shopify will be able to capture it if you allow them to. So there are three types of payment capture method. The first one is the automatically at checkout, which will capture payment when an order is placed. And then we got the second one, which is the automatically when the entire order is fulfilled. And it's going to authorize payment at checkout and capture once the entire order is fulfilled or you can also choose manually which will authorize payment at checkout and capture manually so this one might be a little bit of a hassle if you're not always standby so i always like the first one as well as the second one but again it's up to your preference whichever one you feel are the most comfortable for you now let's take a look at the manual payment method for your information if you choose the manual payment method shopify is not going to be able to capture the payment through their system because there is no way that the customer will be able to maybe send the proof etc through shopify you might be able to ask them to email you or maybe whatsapp you the proof but just so you know that the system don't have the ability to record it in them so we'll have to ask the proof of payment manually but don't worry about it you can always add it to the instruction of the cash on delivery one so here on the manual payment method you can do custom payment method you can also do bank deposit or maybe money order cash on delivery is the one that is the easiest to create based on my experience sometimes if you choose the other one it could still be cancelled or there are some issues but i never had issues with activating the cash on delivery system so here you can add the additional detail i'm just going to use chat gpt here i have already asked for some answer so i'm going to add it here a little explanation for my customer so that they know what they're choosing for their payment method and then for the payment instruction i also ask chat gpt to sort of summarize it for me just going to go ahead and click on copy and put it here just going to edit this real quick all right so we got several instruction for the order placement for the delivery for the payment as well as the item receiving and i'm going to just add one more all right so let's say that i will allow manual bank transfer to be done through the cash on delivery system so i'm going to go ahead and just copy this real quick like so and then i'm going to go ahead and Make sure that my payment instruction is as clear as possible so that it's not going to be a problem for me in the future. Then I'm going to click activate cash on delivery. Now we got the manual payment method created. 
and you'll be able to see whether it's going to work or not if you're going to check out on your product so for now i'm going to go to the online store and let's pretend that we're going to check out for the product i'm going to go ahead and click this view store go to catalog and let's just choose one of the product let's say it's this one then i'm going to click buy it now So this is how the checkout page looks like. We will be able to add our contact here and then our delivery details as well as the shipping method. And here you can see that I already got the cash on delivery options added to my checkout page. So right now I'm just going to pretend that we are going to check out with the cash on delivery method and I'm just going to fill this in real quick and I'm going to get back to you once it's done. So I got the whole things added and then we also got the shipping method for free. You can actually edit this. I'm just going to show this for you later, the shipping method one. But once we got everything here done, I'm going to go ahead and click complete order and we will see how the order will looks like for us. So I'm going to go back to you here. As you can see now, we got the notification, the order one, which is this one. But before we go there, I'm just going to show you real quick some things that I haven't explained. So for the shipping and delivery, you can actually settings for different rates. For example, if you're going to put rates for a specific place, you can add more rates. For example, this one is the standard one, and then you can create a new rate. For example, if you're using carrier or app to calculate rate, you can always try to search it on Shopify app store, or you can just create the rates on your own. So you can add your pricing. For example, if you would like to give different pricing for different region, you can setting it through here. Once you know that, we're gonna go back to our order. So this is where our order is. You can see that the payment status, it's still pending because the system are not going to be able to record it. What I meant by that is that obviously the amount of revenue you will get is still going to be recorded in the system, but they will not be able to track the transaction process. If you're using the third parties, they will know whether the payment has been made or not. But this one, since we choose cash on delivery, the payment will still say pending unless you click on mark as paid. So you can click mark is paid by cash on delivery and then you'll be able to see the tracking through here again make sure that your customer has already paid if you're let's say allowing them to send you the money through bank transfer or any other apps that might not be fulfilled here and if you're scared to get scammed you can just go ahead and ask for their proof before you fulfill their product. So you have the options to not fulfill the product at all until they give you the proof. And let's say that you create a mistakes or maybe they make a mistake and they're asking for a refund. You can always click on this refund buttons right here and it's going to show that the product that are asking for refund can actually be refunded. Now this one is actually depends on your own policies. You can refuse for a refund if they're paying with cash on delivery. I mean the actual cash, not the bank transfer because it's a little bit tricky and it's a little bit hard for you to refund the money. I believe it will take time. So you can just create a policies about it. And if you would want to fulfill your order, you can just go ahead and click fulfill item. But let's say that you don't want to continue with an order anymore. You can always click cancel order and you can refund it right when you cancel it, or you can just refund it later. That's definitely up to you. I suggest you to add stuff notes so that your staff will know what's going on if you have stuff. 
and this will also be useful for your future so that's basically it that is how you can create a manual payment method on shopify i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day